And more news coming in. This is a big exclusive of the external affairs minister as Jashankar spoke into India today. Puts on record the Niger controversy with the US as Jashankar says probe appeal by US fair enough says that US handled the Niger episode sensibly. Ties with the US not hit because of Niger is what as Jashankar has said. Issue surfaced in a handful of meetings. So I want to spend a moment on India's relationship with the United States, which has been developing significantly over the last several years, and especially on your watch, but where apparently we've had some break bumps recently. One was this talk that President Biden didn't come to the Republic Day uh, because they were upset with the way India was uh, trying to bump off uh, alleged Khalistani separatists in the United States, and that's something that America is upset about. Some American Which senators... Some American senators and congressmen have spoken to say that the drones which are being given are conditional to India acting on the Niger case and on the Pannu case. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, uh, the visits which were expected to happen uh, in January didn't happen, we were trying to also, we were trying to get a quad meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? And Quad meeting obviously needed uh, three other parties uh, to come together. The Americans uh, essentially told us that, you know, a lot of it is a scheduling uh, mm -hmm. issue. Look at the relationship. I think the relationship today is really solid. I mean, uh, you see Prime Minister's June visit uh, and, and even now, I mean, uh, we continue uh, to consult regularly on a whole host of issues, uh, the drone mm -hmm. issue. The Americans have a very unique process of decision making. Uh, they have separation of powers. Uh, I don't think any other country has, no major country has anything similar. So they have to do their own internal negotiations and approvals, etc. If I am not party to a discussion huh, and it's somebody else's internal discussion, I think it's more sensible of me to leave it to them to handle. But as far as I am concerned, what we are intending to procure from the United States is, is a defense uh, decision. Uh, in the case of Canada, I think uh, there is a recognition today that a lot of this has to do with Canadian politics, uh, that you know, uh, you know that they have a long record of interfering in Indian politics. Uh, I think we've been uh, fairly upfront about it, which is that uh, uh, we believe uh, today that uh, uh, there are uh, criminal organizations which are transnational, which are involved in a whole series of activities. And whatever allegedly happened in this case is to our mind, uh, you know, something to do with all of that. And so, uh, I mean, not only do they need to investigate it, which they are, but we also need to investigate it, which we are. And by the way, tomorrow I could be raising a problem, you know. I could be asking some country saying, you know, I think there is this problem and I think you need to look into it. So, uh, but, but I won't kind of uh, uh, blow it uh, out of uh, all proportion. Um, you know, uh, to be very honest, uh, let us say in the last uh, three, four months, it may not, I mean, it won't have figured more than in a, a handful of meetings, if that. So 2024 is the year of elections. Half the world's population goes to the polls, 60 countries plus. The biggest question in global affairs at this moment is, what happens if Donald Trump becomes president of the United States again? Does that impact your prism going past November? Or do you think India is one of those few countries where it doesn't really matter whether President Biden comes back or Donald Trump does? Uh, where the world is concerned, uh, obviously it matters who is the leader of the most uh, powerful and important country in the world. Uh, the fact that there would be debates about it, to me, is very natural. But where India is concerned, uh, there are, I think, two aspects to it. Uh, one, a structural aspect, which is today we have grown the relationship in so many different areas and so many different facets. It's not just between you know, uh, uh, between political leaders, there's a business angle, there's a service angle, there's a civil society angle, there's a tech angle. So, so if you put it all together, I think the relationship is very, very strong. And 
uh, that allows us to approach it with a certain degree of confidence.